has done amazing things through history. His yeah. results, his numbers that he put up in the baseball field, I mean, the man just stands for himself. He's here to sign autographs at the Des Moines, Iowa uh, card show. Me and Eddie here taking some time to, rep to represent him and bring him over here. And he's holding, well, I'm gonna let Bill tell you about it. Go ahead and break this off, Bill. Well, I'm holding the man, the bopper guy. They roof, uh, you know, selling for, you know, uh, half a million dollars and, uh, Two cards on this is amazing stuff for me. You know, I, I'm a hippie of baseball. This is amazing right here. The baller can do it all. <laughs> well, history is in your hands, but yes. history is what you did. The numbers that you put up on the field, the amount of hits, and the stolen bases that you had, man, there were people like Pete Rose who idolized you. We ran behind you, <laughs> running on those fields, thinking we were Superman. Well, Pete's a good friend of mine. You know, Pete, uh, we both live in Las Vegas, and I see him every once in a while. Uh, yeah, you're on with Ryan, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ryan's my agent, too, so yes. that's why I was wondering. I didn't know if you were with him or not. Yes, and, uh, I mean, it just—I'm it, shaking, you know, with these cards in my hand. From this, you don't—you don't see this every day, you know. This is unbelievable, you know. And, and like I say, Pete's a good friend. I wish Pete was it's in the Hall of Fame, you know. He should be there. He he'll be there. Be, you know, as well as I do. He's got today, he'll, he'll be there. But this is this is amazing right here. Oh yeah, so, without a doubt. There's nowhere else in Iowa that you're going to see cards like this, but right here in Des Moines. That's right. Yeah. Now, I got the I got the oddest question for you. And it's uh -oh. probably not odd for you. This is gonna be a good one. You ready? Okay. You've done a lot of amazing things in the sport. You're idolized by many people filed behind to do autograph signings. Not just in your sports. The most rememberable moment that you have of meeting a child and doing an autograph for him. I'd like you to tell us about it. Because well, I, I've followed you and know that you're about the children just like I am. Oh yes, you know, uh, it's a little different now, you know, when we came up, you know, it, uh, the kids used to do there, the parents come there, and you know, some of the, you know, some of the, get the kids I've been signing from when they were five years old, and I see them one year there, 15 years old, then you see them as an adult, you know, and that's and they follow your career, and they, they tell me how good I was to them, or good, you know, certain players was to them. You know, that's the main thing right there, you know, is knowing you know, that respect the fans that come in and watch the play and, and that's a good thing right? I know some players are you know a little tough on fans at times but you know it's great for me when the fans they come say I remember you was really nice to my, my son or my daughter and uh, we really appreciate that. About two years ago I'm over there in Cooperstown, New York the day Steve Saxon was there when they were opening up the cart. Yeah. Remember that? Yes. Me and Sue McKay opened up that deck and opened up the, the complete floor for that. And when we did, me and Pete, not Pete Rose, but the gentleman that runs yes. the thing up there, sat there and held a conversation about you. Oh. I want to know about your visit to the Hall of Fame. Because I, I want to know. I heard. <laughs> I just love going to uh, Cooperstown, you know. Uh, I think what they should do, they should take every baseball player there before their career starts and see That's a great where idea. they wanted to end. I, I don't think people realize what a place that is. You know, I know stuff like that, but I know if they go there and see a ceremony, and see the history, walk down the field down behind down it, the field and work oh, on the Hall of Fame, and I think they would respect the game more, and they would really, I know, I didn't really give 120% out there because I think, I, 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 I think I wish I had happened to me, and I think they should do it all there, and I think that and they, would, they, would, they would respect the players in there, and they would want to get there. 1984, Bush Stadium. You crushed the ball to Terry Pendleton. <laughs> hit a line drive at him. Most amazing catch I've ever seen Terry make. But that ball you hit about took his arm off. Turned him a complete 360. I will never forget it because that was the same day that we did that I hit Nolan Ryan. And you know it. That was the day I took him deep. Yeah. 84, I don't know. I can't remember yesterday. Yes. <laughs> but I, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I remember. I will never forget that. I was sitting on third baseline. I was sitting right there with my father. Yeah. And you hit that ball. And when he snagged that ball in that line, it was the first time I've ever seen a man do a complete 360 lap. Oh, yeah. You, know, you drilled that thing. Well, I used to have a good game. You know, being from that area, from uh, about an hour from St. Louis, I always had good games down there in St. Louis. Not only that, you talk kids when they were in the early 80s. You 
taught kids about bat speed, about hitting the ball off from the bat, fathers tossing the ball up, crushing the bat off the bat. Yeah, it's a little different now, you know, where like the baseball and how they teach hitting. It's a little different. They do a launch angle and everything. Yeah, we work on contact and, and bat speed. So, you know, it's it's different and uh, and more games on TV, uh, more analytics and all that too. So it's, it's just a different ball game now. Now, besides your era of playing and the era of people that are out there right now, who would you say is the most vicious player you've seen in the true hitter? Not the home run hitter, the true hitter. Oh, it's true hitter. I, I think uh, you look at this kid, uh, Guerrero. I, mean, just, uh, I just sold his uh, one on one card. Uh, uh, he was just unbelievable. Not, 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 not only he hits for power, he hits for average, and that's what I like to see. Because you see a lot of these guys, they got 40 or 50 home runs, but they hit 190. You know, to me, that's not a hit, that's a swing. Yeah. But with Guerrero, well, he's a different type of player. He's a completely though, different you know, type but, hitter. Yeah, when you hit 270, that's still Guerrero's hit <laughs> 340. He yeah. hit 340, yeah. that's different. You know, I think what makes him so special, not just his hitting, his pitching, too. Yeah. I mean, just as a pitcher, I don't think we really talk about it as much as he was just a hitter. Yeah, I don't think he, so either, but, but, yeah. but, but he is that way. Yeah. You know, and we just talk about the day, you know, we're very seeing very seldom see a guy. I think he's probably the first Japanese player to come over to here. That size, too. You know, usually, you know, each year old, all of us guys who are under six feet. This guy, six five, uh, uh, big time player. And that's what you see there. I I like him a lot. Wonder Franco, I've seen him come on a lot. Wonder Franco's got a chance back. But since Mickey Mantle, I have not even seen anybody on the back on a true hitter. It's like Pete did. It's really funny you forget about him because he, he, we haven't seen him out there. Right, right. And, 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 and I think I, I wish he was more out there. I think, you know, they talk about guys being the face of baseball. I think he would be the perfect guy, but I, you know, I think Mike just wants to play baseball. Yeah. Not yeah, only that, it, Mike's yeah. a little different person. Yeah, he sat with him a lot. Yeah, he just wanted, he just wanted to play baseball. And nothing wrong with that, and that's what he's great at. So. Yes, he is. And, and uh, but I think he, he loves you know, the kids just yeah. like we do. That's and, one thing and he that's tries. That's thing. Yeah. He's yeah. amazing with the kids. He took my son Dennis, took him down on the field the day that we presented the card to let him, you know, do the commercial with the card. Yeah. And he took my son Dennis on the field. He didn't care about me. I was yeah. nobody. <laughs> Even though he knew me already, I was <laughs> nobody. It was all about the kids. And that's, that's the one what, thing I respect about that. That's what he that's does. Awesome. Yeah. Anyways, Bill, we appreciate you taking oh, the no time. Oh, no problem. I still got one thing. Most memorable hit, most memorable hit or play in sports that you had. Oh, we I, always got to get this on for the I, big baller. I, I, well, I, I think, uh, I think it was 75. It, 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 it's a few hits. I, 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 I was trailing uh, Ken Griffey, the mm -hmm. senior, by mm -hmm. a few points the last day of the season. I got four hits on the last season in the back. Wow. Right nice. There. Yeah. Uh, awesome. So you George. hear that? The man, <laughs> the man is here. Can't go against it. A lot of people have put out different numbers, a lot of records, but you're looking like one of the best of all time. So, Thank you. We just appreciate it coming on our show. I hope to see you over nationals, but if not, I will drop it in your Do I get to keep these? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know your bank account. I'll yeah, okay. <laughs> just direct deposit. Yeah, just, just direct deposit. Yeah. Okay. Do, we do do PayPal. Okay, how about checks in the mail? We like those. <laughs> okay. it's, it's a yeah. pleasure. Okay. You too. God bless okay. you. God bless um, you. I'd like to get a